This is Hyper Pi. This is Motion Blue version 5 attract mode. This is Motion Blue Emulation Station. So in this video, we're going to compare HyperPi versus Motion Blue version 5 and what you need to know to differentiate which route you would like to go. There's many pre-built images already with using both of these. Um, I highly recommend Motion Blue is kind of my personal favorite, but you'll see there's it's really tough decision. Uh, my being my, my favorite, just, just slight little things, but let's go ahead and check this out because on the stats, you're going to see that HyperPi actually has a lot of great advantages over Motion Blue. But for some of those advantages they might be a con for other people so to get started the first thing is hyper Pi comes preloaded with all the video snaps box art all that stuff pre included with motion blue you have to go to mumovies.com or some other website to get the video snaps the box art or you got to scrape them things like that so for some people that's an extra step that they don't want to have to do but that's also a con as well, and I'll get to that. I think it's like number four or five. Number two, hidden wheel feature. So on the motion blue, uh, the the wheel's always there in a track mode. When you're when you're going, you you the the, the title stays there. So if it's SNES console, it says SNES. It doesn't leave and it doesn't move to a full screen video. And some people really like that full screen video, especially if it's like for a bar top or something like that. It really does make for a really classy, uh, like in your face experience that I think only HyperPi has. So for a lot of people, that's great. Um, there's also a disadvantage to that as well, which I'm going to get to shortly here. Number three, this is it. Because they're so beautiful, they're in 1080p. So not only does that take up a lot of space, but it actually struggles a little bit on the Raspberry Pi 3. And that's why a lot of people do HyperPi or HyperSpin on a PC or a higher uh, speed computer, which the 1080p videos is not an issue for. Now, it's not like horrible. It's still good. It's just uh, if you if you downgrade them to 720 like they did in Motion Blue, they run even smoother, no hiccups. They change between videos much quicker, things like that. Um, a lot of that also, by the way, has to do with your micro SD card. Do not cheap out on the micro SD card. Not all class 10s micro SD cards are created equal. If it says class 10, that doesn't mean jack. Don't think about class 10. You want to see the read and the write speed. Go with a Sandus Ultra or a Samsung. Uh, middle to high range Samsung as well works works way better. All right, next one up. Both need RetroPie updating. Yes, so both have been around now for a few months, um, and both of them are not on the latest 4.3 RetroPie, which is going to give you screen savers, um, new emulators, um, all sorts of new stuff that could be good or bad though. Because for example, if you don't want to have to update your arcade set, you know you might there might be some features you don't really need, so you don't necessarily have to update. But if, as far as out of the box, Motion Blue is going to come out with a newer, is, has a newer version of RetroPie on it than HyperPie does. It's not a huge deal though, but for some people, they want something a little more updated, but not a big deal. So here comes the space, and this is actually a pretty big deal, right? Because this one you can actually fit on a 32 gigabyte micro SD. This one you need at least a 64 gigabyte micro SD. So that's about a $10 difference right now between a 32 and a, and a 64 additional dollars. Um, and then most people want 128 though, and then you're talking another $30 over the 32. But the reason for this is back to number one, which is it's preloaded with all of those assets. So that's what's taking up the majority of the space are these 1080p videos. 1080p videos are more than ROMs. You know, a ROM for Super Nintendo, for example, it's one megabyte per game. So the whole 700 games of Super Nintendo is only 700 megabytes, where I could tell you that the video snaps in 1080p for all those games is going to be almost double, maybe even more than that as far as space taken. So that's a big consideration right there. Number five. Moving along, number six. Uh, they both have emulation stations. So if you don't, this is kind of an attract mode 
uh, video that you're watching here comparing the two track modes but uh, the one thing I really like about motion blue is it has a beautiful emulation station that mimics a lot of the track mode features um, you can still do the video snaps you can change it to a vertical wheel um, you can do this for HyperPi as well um, you just have to update RetroPie install certain themes uh, but I think the the it's easier in my mind to do this on a motion blue than it is on a hyper pie. So if you are going to go the emulation station route and you want to start with one of these base images, I would start with motion blue version five. That's just my personal opinion. Some people might disagree. And then lastly, uh, hyper pie. There is rumors of a new version. They have a Facebook group. I recommend going into there. They got a lot of great developers. A lot of the same developers work on both. Dwayne Hurst is one that works on both. Uh, Ray works for both. And then uh, David Marty, who basically this is his baby over here. He's also on the team over here. And then there's some RetroPie people and other people involved. But anyways, this seems to be continually going on. I imagine there's going to be a new version of this this year, maybe, if not probably next year, where this is temporarily discontinued. But again, it's temporarily. I would not be too surprised if we see a Motion Blue version 6 in the future. Um, I mean, because basically, if he just updated all the scripts and, and made it fresh, like that's good enough to me to release another version that would, you know, a majority of people I know would would be interested in updating their images. Um, as far as building them, they, they, they're both very similar drag and drop as far as building. Um, so there you have it. What, what do you like better? HyperPy, Motion Blue version 5? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and we'll see you on the next one.